absolute madman thinking that was the correct direction. That's also not the correct direction. It's so nice to have more inventory spells. They really know how to just tease you with the inventory in this game. Like, you always get a new hip pouch right about when you're feeling the squeeze. You know, I should probably also save. Nah, it's too late. I'm committed. It's a bad commitment to have, but I have it. I am I am going... I am gonna do it. Excuse me. I'm gonna combine these because I do happen to need more ammo. Need the more ammo. You heard me. It's the only one I don't have. It's Lady Bow Snake. Mm, Lady Bow Snake, I presume. Oh, you can see the countdown. That's neat. Nothing to be alerted by. No reason for alarm. Can he actually move while I'm in here? Or is that just for the sake of spooking me? Because it worked. I'm going to have to throw out something, am I? No, no, because it was gunpowder I combined. Reload faster, Claire. Whoa, you are persistent, huh? I thought two flame shells would do it. They didn't. Good news. Unlike in the original, there's a checkpoint. So I don't have to redo all that progress. I'm going to have to be a little more quick with the trigger finger, though. That's what I learned from that experience. Come on, drop down, you son of a bitch. Gotta shoot him while he's on fire. Nope. He's just a lot stronger than he has any right to be. I thought you reloaded this already. What are you doing? Alright, well, I'm fucked. Why is he so strong? Because you're supposed to run from him. You're not supposed to fight him, right? intensive enemy to face. Nope, you don't have time to do that. You don't have time to do that. What are you doing? Asshole. What do you... How do you block that with your hand? Yeah, that knife is gone forever. Right, well, I relearned new things about, or new old things about liquors, 
and how they're bullshit, and how my memory was correct the first time when I thought it took more than one flame shell. That other liquor was just the tutorial liquor. Tutorial liquor sounds like some sort of, like, fake gamer insult. You would hear in, like, a, a mid-2000s show on G4. <laughs> G4, man. I have not actually thought about G4 in a long time. Alright, he's still dead. This is the way down. I don't know why I made her do a little dance, but... Sometimes it's in you and it just has to come out. It's the boogie woogie. Good news, Marvin. I've done the do. Activate this to activate that cutscene. I suppose she was probably expecting the door just to be locked. It's a lot more subtle than the man getting ripped in half, but I always find that scene a lot harder. A lot more horrifying, rather. Just the subtle breathing and how it changes, Marvin's breathing changes. That really does it, like, seals the deal of that being just an awful scene. save. Not going for any world record or nothing, so I don't care if I get S rank. I should care if I get S rank. Should make it a challenge. But as we've seen how I handled that one liquor, I don't do so well with challenges. Oh, we got our first... Uh-oh. We got our first... Encounter with the boy. Old Billy. Well, maybe you'd be a little bit wise to bring a, a few more shots, but, uh... And a second healing item. I don't know if Yellow Caution will let me live through... Anything, really. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go for it. First fight isn't that bad, but I'm sure I'll screw it up spectacularly. Hello? 
Claire, don't... Claire, don't say hello. You know you're infested in zombie town. You're in zombie infested town. That was the worst way to word that. Yeah, it did. It budged plenty. You look like a hobbit. It's okay. It won't hurt you, I promise. Are you wrong? Here, take my hand. It's okay. I can understand you. Did you know you could help? Why? Because you're a bad I wonder where we're supposed to shoot him. There was no need to call him rude names. That's my job, okay? Oi! Wow, there's no timer on that, huh? Well, that didn't last very long. Oh, God! Well, that's my death. It's not my death, I lied. Did I not pick up that other... Son of a bitch. Well, he does not care about when he's on fire, huh? Excuse me. What are you what are you doing? Absolute swine. Well, we've got all the stuff. Sprout your friggin' eye already, Billy. What are you doing? I missed it. You can stop anytime you'd like, Billy. Fuck off, Billy! There we go. I, I am really quite adept at shooting around that eyeball. It's a talent. gets one shot from the flame thing opened up his eye. Really, buddy? You're gonna go the long way? Could you... Could you pick a direction and stick to it? Alright. 
Excuse me, I guess I wasn't pressing space there. Uh... That definitely shouldn't have counted, but we'll take it. I guess the hitboxes have to be kind of generous. Whole game is designed around using the controller. Oh man. No. I promise. Everything's fine. I just need to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. I wish you wouldn't make promises like that, Claire. There's two of us in this situation, and I don't appreciate you uh, making the judgment calls. This way. Excuse me. First things first. Open this. Grab that. Don't know what it is. I just wanted it. Herb. Are these real? Nope, those are real fake lockers. Got it. All right, Cheryl. Cheryl. Cher I, I remember. I remember her name. inventory. We got inventory for days. Don't worry, I'll still find a way to fuck it up. Mismanage that nonsense. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep this on me. I could use a knife. Hmm. I use both of them. I'll find another. I don't think she'd be able to do that, by the way. Manholes are very, very heavy. Maybe she could, I don't know. And I think they're fastened in place, is why you need a crowbar to pry them out. out? Yeah, just yell.
ground now. Fat bastard. Don't you have a gun? Isn't that a great... What goodies lie in wait in the parking lot? So for some reason, I read this out of the corner of my eye as do not throw trash or show butts. And I was like, all right, that's solid advice. I cannot be mad at such clear and precise instructions. No throwing trash. No cam whoring. It's not allowed. Raccoon Monthly, June issue. I didn't say Raccoon City has a hell of an issue in June, but I don't know. Attention, all Raccoon City heroes. Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right. It's Police Chief Brian Irons. Bryans. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and a stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Uh... Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, art preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we've missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family, Chief Irons said with a soft smile. What a twist. Station B1 map. That looks like it's where I need to go. So naturally, I'm not going to go in that direction yet. I think this is where Leon goes. Yeah, I'm on to you. Yeah. Maybe we circle around to it. I don't actually remember. It doesn't actually matter in the long run. Either we'll see it or we won't. As long as it's marked on my map. This is a we. It's so compact. Like, just in the front. The thing's got, like, a go-kart engine in it. I bet there were real cars that looked like that. I bet there are still, to this day. I was already down here. It was the other door I needed to go to. 
Okay, 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 okay. Let's grab ourselves a drink first, all right? I'll take a... Uh... Okay. Kampa. Kampa Cola? No, actually, no. Not a fan of Arda, though. And food. <laughs> we'll take some food. It's immersive. The immersive experience. Fucking dogs. That's my first instinct when I come into this room. I don't know if it's accurate, but I hate it. Is there ammunition here? It's gotta be. One of these... Key to patrol car 7439. Bent key, no longer usable, but can still open the car's doors and trunk with its keyless entry buttons. Good. Damn it. You hesitate for a second, man. And then you're just playing catch up for the whole rest of the encounter. I didn't even need to come in here, did I? There's nothing in here for me. Well, okay, never mind. There's a nano. There we go. Other than that, I've just PO'd the zombie for no good reason. A message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from Raccoon City Zoo. Why do you keep raccoons in the zoo? They're everywhere. There's raccoons outside of my window right now flipping me the bird. Today I want to talk about something. It's probably just it's just the mascot, right? It's just the mascot. They bet he's not not a real raccoon in the zoo. Or it might be like a like a tanuki, like an exotic raccoon. Tanuki are real, right? Or that's just the name for raccoons in Japan. I never looked that up. I never knew. Hold on, I can we have the internet right now. This is important to me. It's a raccoon dog. Nick Terutus Viverinus. That's not how you pronounce that. Oh, it's adorable. I love him. And yes, that raccoon looks more like a tanuki. Just the band isn't solid. It kind of like peters off, you know, the eyeball goggles. They're adorable. All right. I'm uh, done gushing over the Tanukis. I swear. Anywho, today I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice. That makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous. Just don't do it. Anyways, see you at the zoo. Mr. Raccoon out. I think that platform was supposed to be one of those toys, so I believe that is actually persistent, which means I didn't need to be stingy about not getting that one earlier because it's progressive across multiple playthroughs. I hope there aren't dogs in here. I think Leon has to deal with more dogs than Claire. No, we have something much worse. We have something much worse in here. All right. There's two of them in here, isn't there? Well, if I'm lucky, I won't need to deal with either of them. Hmm.
Hmm. Can I actually walk past this? Nope. No, I cannot. He didn't aggro. He's just very upset with me for violating his personal space. I don't blame him, but I've got to go. Let's, let's mark this on our map. What does this need? Some sort of crank, some sort of valve. Crank. Can't do with anything with that yet. Oh man, this fucking room. Autopsy record number 53477. Name of deceased, Justin Hansen. Male, Caucasian, 39 years old. Observations found dead in a jail cell bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely he died just after lights out. Deceased was a known kleptomaniac, incarcerated many times. Incredibly, he would steal even when in jail, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. I'm going to have to ask you to, to wake up, sir. Got no better way of dealing with this. That's a good pop. Gotta have my pops. Remember that? Something I said exclusively so I could ask you if you remember it. That's the only reason anybody would ever say that. Had those commercials towards the ass end of the 90s. I very, very vaguely remember seeing a couple of them. Probably maybe as late as 2000. Those things are huge! Anyways, maybe 2001, 2002. I'm sure they went on longer than that. Like, commercials got a kind of, uh... They don't really have a shelf life unless they're very overtly 90s. Like, if you can identify that they're from a specific decade, and there's probably something in them, like the animation style or the type of jingle or whatever that's just not used anymore. I should leave this so I know which ones I've opened. Well, it's all of them. The answer is I've opened all of them. So I really don't need that assistance, but... You know, he's the one I need to deal with, I think. So we'll, we'll do this one first. It wasn't anything good, but... We wouldn't have known if we didn't know. Give me the thing. Time to go! Don't keep running. What are you doing? Why are you on the floor now? I don't have a lot of recourse of what to do here. Go. Just climb over the things. <laughs> no, we're not going to be dealing with that. Did he de-aggro? Well, that one's dead somehow. They're 
both dead. I don't like how some of them have... I don't like how they have variable health. He freaks me out, man. Hear him on the other side of the door. That one is still very much alive after one shot. Why? What's the difference? I don't know. A subtle change in the texture? We got him out of the way. I got no idea. I don't think there's a way to tell. I think it's just gonna slip harder enemies in. in every so often. Just to, to up the challenge. Okay. You know, I realize the textures are actually worse in this playthrough with a better computer than my last playthrough. So I've only got like 8 gigs of RAM in this fucking thing. I think there was a knock on my door. Hold on. There was no knock, no rapping at my chamber door, but I took the opportunity to turn on the light because it was just too spooky. Also, I tripped over something on my way to the door, so that makes me want to keep my light on. <laughs> it, was, it was just, you know, my cable plugged into the wall. Charging cable for my phone. But still, you know, you don't want to be tripping over stuff that causes damage. Is that all that was in here? Never a parking garage. Right, I've got to open this case, then grab the thing out of it. How's it? How do you feel? How do you feel when it happens to you? I don't feel good, does it?
Ooh, this ha item has no more use. Discard? Guess no, yes. No longer has use. It's the JNB HP3. A weapon that is literally just a replacement to the one you've already got. Can I empty the ammo from this? No. Well, not through that menu. This one's got a laser on it. Look at that. Laser beam. I don't actually remember getting a better gun in this Claire. I might have missed that the first time I played through the game. How embarrassing. No reason not to. Shoulder stock for the D GM79. Is that my... It is! Look at that! It's a two-slot weapon now. So I functionally just lost a slot, but that's okay. For no benefit? I didn't actually pay attention to what the stock did. I was just super excited to get it. There's a blue herb. Uses damage taken and guards against poison. That's pretty good. Problem by having a weapon that's a little faster to shoot. It's a good looking gun. But I'm going to waste more ammo. So I should maybe consider making more. What a lovely night. Such a gentle rain. Got three full heal items. I do not need that many. I think... I don't know this, but I do think the revolver has a higher chance of getting a head pop. I think I remember hearing that. That being said, get out of here. We don't need it. Not using poison yet. Only really need one full heal. Get this, get this shit organized. It's good to have an emergency button, right? I'll probably need that soon, since I'm here. There's a storage area. A storage box inside of the... dark light room, so I should be able to... shouldn't need to carry that. Copy of emails to Chief Irons. Who prints out their emails? You know what? Irons seems like the kind of guy who can't figure out technology. So he'd probably have somebody print out his emails for him so he can read them at his desk. Please... Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you much. M much. Must. WB. Who could it be? Police Chief Irons. I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away. But don't worry. This will all be over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you and everything will be alright. WB. Who could it be? Who's the bee man? It's Billy. It's I, th I believe it's supposed to be Billy. I don't actually know. Could be the entirety of WB Entertainment. 
Warner Brothers. I don't, I don't, I don't trust them. They're a bunch of crafty guys. Police Chief Irons, you are to up the security around my lab. Your muscle heads are to shoot any any perspicuous person. That's what I wanted to say. Not only is that not a word, but it's not even close to suspicious. It doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way. Police Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. You got assholes building on assholes here. Ah, a lovely portrait. You got two angels up above. A mother, a baby, a man with a fat lute, and a man playing the harpsichord. Perhaps an artistic rendering of... Holy crap, I forgot the name of the Mother of Christ. Maria? Mary? Mary? I think it's Mary. Anyways, perhaps an artistic rendering of uh, Mary with Christ? I don't know. This is a picture, however, that I like. Maybe difficult to make out. Or maybe not. But, it's a cliff face at the scale you'd expect a cliff face to be, but with a giant fountain made to look as if it's a chalice leaking water into the surrounding. I don't know where you would get a portrait like this in the 90s, but I want one. A simple barren environment with two trees and more in the distance. It's a little flavorful, but highly unusual for how small this one is. I'm not a fan of that one. Flowers? You need that for every artistic room, really. Art room, not artistic room. That's a creepy fucking picture of some... Well, that's not actually a picture. It's a painting. A drawing, more accurate. Of some, we'll say, Victorian-era child. That's something usual. You want it hanging over your desk. This is meant to look like a picture. But I believe it's actually a painting. Again, of a lakeside. Fairly barren. Fairly simple, fairly standard. We have another portrayal of some religious figure, I'm sure. Or it may be that it's some Renaissance individual. I don't know. It's, again, a little basic, and it looks damaged. Irons, you son of a bitch, you buy the art and you don't even keep care of it? No idea who that's supposed to be. Might be a real person, a real reference, might not be. Here we have a picture of an Amish lady. Well, Amish lady, yeah, we'll say an 1800s American colonial of some kind. Frontiers woman. You see a lot of those pictures, a lot of those paintings just around. I don't know who did them, who keeps doing them, but they are actually all around, and I hate them. Because <laughs> they're so blame. Ah, this lady. She's offering you an herb. That's it. That's the whole portrait. Her flower collection is numerous, but she wants to give you that herb in particular. Perhaps it's a painting made specifically for Resident Evil or picked by the team due to the fact that they do like herbs. Who knows? This monstrosity of a picture is a child, again, we'll say Victorian era, late Victorian era, holding a creepy effing doll. Have more use for the diamond door. The diamond key to open diamond doors. Sorry. I misspoke. Alright, now that my art corner is done. I think it's time to begin organizing in earnest. Take out a couple of those just to have them. Alright, we're done.